Hey, what's up, Cotton Nation? King Cotton 9000 here with a video for you today. Today, we're talking about New York Toy Fair. Uh, I did a Transformer uh, New York Toy Fair in my last video. This video, we're talking about WWE figures that we saw at New York Toy Fair, just like my Transformer video. And yeah, let's go ahead and get into this first things first we're going to start with elite series 68 which is going to be like everyone's favorite elite series because we got daniel bryan summer slam uh attire which has interchangeable hands with uh yes movements and which is pretty cool because that was actually my favorite favorite attire with Daniel Bryan, but, uh, yeah. For, really not my number one favorite, it's just, like, my favorite attire with Daniel Bryan. Because Simon Song was actually a big thing that, with Daniel Bryan. Next up, we got Braun, no, not Braun showing yet. We got Roman Reigns with the Universal Championship. I haven't got a Roman with Universal Championship, but I'm going to give him this time. Then we got first time Elite Brie Bella, which none of the Bella Twins ever got an Elite at all. With this Elite series, there was no Bella Twins as Elite figures. So now Brie has Elite figure, but that means Nikki Bella will have a wheat next. Now next up we got Braun Strowman with his own kind of guitar. When Elias and Braun Strowman were just having a feud, Braun interrupted Elias during his concert, then Braun his own. So yeah. That was actually a cool moment. I'm glad that they're actually giving us that. Next up, uh, we got the American Badass Undertaker. Which, we never actually had American Badass Elite figure of Undertaker. Now we actually finally got one. And what's strange, it comes with the old style cane mask. Which I'm surprised. Uh, I don't know if that was Raw or SmackDown or a live event. Live pay-per-view or event when he took out Kane's match. I can't remember. But that's actually kind of strange and pretty cool that there's something going on with this new Undertaker. But yeah. Let's see. We got King Mabel, which there's two of them. There's the one that they showed us and his chase version, which has the M extra stuff to his attire, which I'm not even big on that. If I find Chase Mabel, I'll get him, or Raider King Mabel, I'll get him. Either one will be good. Next up, uh, we got... Let's see... We got Pat Patterson with his uh, icy, uh, I was icy champion kind of t-shirt back then. And this is a Walmart exclusive, only for, only at Walmart, which I don't get why they're making a Walmart exclusive, but uh, who knows. If I see him, I'll get him, and yeah, let's see if I can actually find him, because it's going to be impossible. So yeah, that's it for Elite Series 68. We got Retro Fetch, we got Iron Cheek, that comes with these two win things, and then we got Mr. Perfect with the old... Intercontinental Championship, the black strap, not the white strap, the black strap. Which 
came with uh, Kevin Nash, or was that Diesel? That was Diesel. I don't get why I was saying Kevin Nash. It was Diesel that has that old style Intercontinental Championship, which is pretty cool. I actually like that. Next up, we got Bow Pack. Uh, let's see. Sorry, guys. I have it on paper. We have 59 Bow Pack series. 59. We got the Hardy Boys, which during their today attire, he has the uh, Woken, Matt Hardy in it, and Jeff Hardy with the rainbow arms going on, which that was actually pretty cool, and I do like that a lot. That's how uh, we got AJ Styles and Jerry Mahal when they had their few with the WWE Championship when AJ Styles defeated Jinder Mahal, which that was actually good because I didn't like Jinder as WWE Champion at all. It's kind of like my aspect. Uh, if y'all like him as champion, that's you. But I don't like him as WWE Champion. Next up, uh, we got the Shield. We got Seth Rollins with the regular Shield t shirt. And we got D. Ambrose with a regular like, black t shirt and just his full on gear with the Shield. So, yeah. Uh, that's kind of when they came back together, which was pretty, pretty awesome that they came back. But uh, yeah, I don't know how that will go. Okay, I see that coming. Okay, we got uh, basic series. Uh, okay, ninety six. Sorry guys, uh, flash right there is hurt, messing with my eyes. So yeah, sorry about that. We got Daniel Bryan WrestleMania uh, tire from last year when he fought with Shane McMahon gets KO and Sami Zayn, which that tire is pretty good too. I probably might get the lead Daniel Bryan just put up there and had the basic just uh, wrestle with. I usually don't play with my figures that much, but. When I get a chance or on board, I do. Then we got Bobby Roode, which is just kind of regular Bobby Roode. We got Sasha Banks in her Royal Rumble attire, which is actually pretty cool to have with Sasha Banks with that attire because that was actually a pretty cool attire. But really not the best. Camera was facing upwards too much. Okay, here we go. Then we got Kevin Owens. I'm gonna look at the paper right here. We got Kevin Owens, just a regular basic, like we always have. And we got Sami Zayn. We got two different ones. We have a Chase, Sami Zayn, and we got Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn, which has like very even much, but Chase. Sami Zayn has all the different stuff all over his ring attire. Which that's pretty cool to see. Then we got retros going on. We have Macho Man Randy Savage, Goldust, Samoa Joe, and Randy Orton. Which, with me, I'm not big on the retro series that at all it's a very good series i do like it but it's something i'm not into but i'll try to get into if i can but the biggest thing on this list is these three we got the ringside exclusive the add to era hardy boys with the old tag team championships Back then when the Hardy Boys started with Edge and Christian, the Dudley Boys, all of them back then. Yeah, uh, 
I'm just very happy we're actually getting that. That's actually one of the best things I I have seen with the Hardy Boys. I like the Hardy Boys with uh, FYE, finally FYE, and this one's like pretty good. And the Battle Pack. <sighs> There's so many Hardy Boy stuff. I can't keep up with this. But yeah, that's... I'm happy. So yeah, I can't wait to get it. Now we got the Ultimate Edition. We got Ronda Rousey. Which comes with her leather jacket. And uh, her uh, skirt or kilt. Short kilt. To re represent Hot Rod. Which is pretty cool. And then we got Ultimate Warrior. Which these two are like very poseable. I can't wait to get them. I'm hoping they are actually in a good price range where I can get them. If they're like uh, $50, that's good. If they're like $80, i am going back. Oh man. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I can't wait to see those out in stores and go and try to get them while I can. So yeah. But there was one thing which caught my eye. Uh, Wicked Cool Toys, this company that actually makes some awesome stuff. They have a Universal Championship. Uh, it's kind of like a commemorative, which you saw the WWE title and the Women's Championship. And Toys R Us, they make a Universal Championship. And that's actually pretty cool. And they're making like little mini belts where you can try to collect them all and put on your uh, WWE figures, which that's pretty cool. And they actually made this awesome cardboard entrance stage. Uh, excuse me. I was trying not to burp, but I did. Yeah. Uh, entrance stage of both Raw and SmackDown instead of having like plastic. With this, it shows so much detail in this, and instead of having like a huge bond for your entrance stage, you actually have them fold up, and you can put them with all your wrestlers in a bin. You don't have to worry about missing any pieces. So yeah, that's actually a cool thing with Wicked Cool Toys with this. This ain't sponsored at all. This ain't sponsored at all. Just to let you know. No sponsor by Wicked Cool Toys. It's just to let you know what I saw. Okay. So yeah. If y'all hear that, that's my, uh, that's the dog's Outside across the street from me and my dog barking at them. So yeah, that's it for this video. Hope you guys liked the video. Comment down below. What's your favorite day figure in the list I said? And yeah, make sure you like the video. And make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel to see more videos just like this one that you're watching right now. And yeah. That's all I got to say in this video. Hope you guys like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.